So Christmas is fast approaching and this is one of our favourite books that we get out every year. It came out in about 2008 so we've had it a few years. Um, it's obviously a really big book in the UK, I'm not sure about America, I think she does, Nigella does do some stuff over there as well. Um, but it's got some really brilliant British recipes and some Italian influence as well. Um, so it's stuff we turn to all the time. Um, it's really good photography in this book as well. So it's really good to be able to see the, the food she's made and just makes it look really Christmassy and festive. Um, so I'll show you some of the stuff we use out of this book. So a really good sort of treat from this book is Christmas Rocky Road. Um, it's obviously very chocolatey um, and lots of marshmallow in it. She's got a really nice photo with Christmas scene with little Christmas trees and deer on. Um, so this is a really good one. We've made this before and I think you can freeze this quite well so it you can make it ahead of time. Um, so that's a really good one. Something quite good for us because we don't eat meat so we've used this and changed it a little bit before. There's a pumpkin and goat's cheese lasagna that's quite good at around sort of autumn and into Christmas. Um, very traditional British dessert um, I, I really like um, the British trifle so it normally has sponge fingers and custard and cream in it and she's done her own take on it um, it's really nice I think we've tried this a couple of Christmases ago and I think most of the recipes in this book are, are really good to be honest I don't think we've had a bad one from it Although I think some of the, the turkey recipes are quite long sometimes. Um, this is something different I've not seen before. Um, gingerbread stuffing. That looks really nice. So we haven't tried that before. So that's definitely one I might try. And there's different types of stuffing in here. So the panettone and Italian sausage stuffing. Um, and some others. And if, you, if you've not made them before, there's a, a good recipe in here with directions how to make perfect roast potatoes. Which I have to say, that picture does look quite good. Um, a recipe we actually get from a, a, a hand, family handed down one, but there's a, I think this recipe is actually quite good as well. It's the ultimate Christmas pudding. And it goes into quite, quite a lot of detail, so it's, it's really good. Um, it's got three pages on it. And there's even some vegetarian options in here. So she's got a roast stuffed pumpkin with gingery tomato sauce. That looks quite nice. And then there's the traditional Christmas cake with all the weights of different fruit you can use. And again, there's a good few pages on this. So there's different, different ways to ice it and top it, um, some different decorations you can try. And glossy fruit on the top and icing and I think they're almonds. And a chocolatey fruit cake as well, that looks good. And one other very British thing is um, mince pies. She's got star topped mince pies. Yeah. And then also in this book there's um, there's drinks, different Christmassy drinks that she makes, um, different cocktails um, and things to do with leftovers and some present ideas as well actually. So things you can food you can make up and Maker's presents. Like olives and pickled, um, winter spiced vodka. So yeah, in conclusion, really good Christmas book. If for nothing else, for just looking through, it's really nice photography, some nice writing in here, um, and some very traditional British cooking and some Italian influence as well. Um, really nice book, one we turn to every year and really recommend it along with her other books of course 
um, but definitely one we always turn to at Christmas.